Why, hello. Please take a seat and get comfortable. There's no need to be nervous. As you well know, I am Countess Bathory. But if we get to know each other a little better, I may permit you to call me Elizabeth. Aren't you a pretty young thing? Why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? I see. So you grew up right outside the village? Oh, and your mother passed away when you were young? You poor, poor thing. Don't worry. If I decide to take you on as one of my maids... You'll be taken care of quite well here in our castle. Isn't that right, Katerina? Isn't she a lovely thing? Well, of course. You've already met Katerina. She's one of my closest confidants. Well, one of four. But Katerina is the one I trust most with my life. And the lives of my subjects, of course. Now, it must have been very sad for you when your mother passed away. Do you have siblings? Some brothers? That doesn't interest me. Any sisters? An older sister. How old is she? Oh, that's far too old. No. And she's unmarried, a spinster. No, no. That won't do. Just you yourself is fine. So, have you heard of me before? You have? Well, I'm not surprised. Yes, I know that my name is spoken about in these parts of Hungary. Well, you know, being a countess, it has its perks. The money, riches, and jewels. Do you like my necklace? Yes, it was a gift from my late husband. You've heard of my husband, have you? Yes, my beloved Ferenc. I was engaged when I was only ten years old. Of course, we didn't marry until I was fifteen, and he was about nineteen. Such a handsome young man. Very cruel. Never to me, but he was in the military, you see. And, um... Well, when he had captured troops on the opposite side and needed to teach them a lesson, he had um, some interesting forms of torture. What's wrong? You look as white as a sheet. Don't worry. My poor husband is long dead, and I've inherited his title. Well, rather, I already had the title. But now I have the lands and the castle, and I'm quite content. Yes, I don't think I'll remarry. I'm not sure that I'm meant for marriage. But I did love my husband. He always had such interesting tales. The things he could do to another man. You'd be very surprised what another person can withhold until they just give up surrender their lives and their dignity. <laughs> well, it's quite amusing, but I'm no stranger to this. My entire family, my brothers, uncles, um, even some of my cousins have all partaken in a bit of, um, well, it's not easy to be part of the noble class in this day and age, especially when you have royal blood in you, so... It's natural that sometimes we have to bend the rules. But I'm sure you've heard some rumors about me. Maybe some nasty rumors in the village. Oh, you poor thing. You're shaking like a leaf. Don't you worry. No harm will come to you. Not really anyway. Once you join and become part of my household, I'll 
take care of you. Oh, you'll be well, well taken care of. Isn't that right, Katerina? Katerina, speaking of, will you bring me some of that, um, that special wine? Yes, the wine that we made with those, um, young, those young peasant girls from the village. Yes, yes, that was a very special batch. Oh, I, maybe you misheard me. I, we made them with the peasant girls. They helped us make the wine. In fact, they are very crucial to the making of this special wine. Oh, it looks a little thick. Why don't you mix it with a bit of water? Oh, that looks much better. Thank you, Katerina. Delicious. Hmm. It smells absolutely lovely. Like youth, beauty, purity, and innocence. All in one perfect crystal glass. Now this wine is, no, it's not for you. We can find you some small ale or mead in the kitchens if you are feeling a bit thirsty. But this special blend, made specially with my maids and the young peasant girls, made by them, that is. Well, this is very special, and it's for my lips only. very delicious. It's a little sweet, but also bitter and metallic. I can feel the life coursing through my blood as I drink this, through my veins. Just one sip and I feel years younger. We were talking about rumors you might have heard in your village. Oh, sweetheart, there's no reason to look so afraid. Like I said, I'm going to take very, very good care of you. Now, I just want you to know those terrible things you might have heard. Well, they're not true. Not really, anyway. You see, they likely all come from a man named Thurzo. No, you wouldn't have heard of him, but he would have spread it to the smaller lords and nobles, along the aristocrats, and in those minor households, they might have whispered them to their maids, and thus you may have heard of them. But you see, when my husband died, I was entrusted to Thurzo's care. He was supposed to protect me and help me and my children to keep this estate running, but, well, between you and me, I think Thurzo wants all the money and power for himself. <laughs> but I'm a Bathory, and I won't relinquish my power for anything. I mean, I'd sooner torture young girls and bathe in their virginal blood rather than you know, give away my fortunes. In fact, I'd much prefer to do that. Oh, don't look alarmed, darling. I'm just kidding. It's true, there might be some things in this castle that you'll have to get used to. Indeed, I do like bathing outside under the full moon. It's a luminescence glow caressing my skin. But you see, these are just follies of a widow. Nothing to concern yourself about. And if my bath water does seem thick and red, well, you also shouldn't worry about that. There's certain mixtures that my very closest mates, like my darling Katerina, put together for me to keep me looking young and beautiful. Well, you see, there was a moment last year I had a maid that 
has been quite unruly, so, as is my right, I struck her across the face. The poor thing had very sensitive skin and she started to bleed. She bled so much it splashed on my face. And as I wiped the blood off my face, I couldn't help but look into a looking glass. And see, I looked so much younger, so refreshed. All because this young, pretty, virginal girl bled on me. You must think that's a silly story. How could a young girl's blood make me younger? Well, you know, when I was a little girl myself, I suffered from seizures. Well, I have a doctor um, from the East who calls it seizures. Of course, I've always been told all my life that it's just the falling sickness. Probably do to um, some tainted blood along the way. You know how us royals are always marrying each other's cousins and so forth. Well, as you see, a treatment they gave me when I was young was to give me the blood of someone not afflicted with my disorder. So you see, well, blood is a very powerful tool in medicine in health, in rejuvenating ourselves. But like I said, you don't need to worry about that. Now, I just have a couple of questions to ask you before I can fully take you on to my household. Could you remind me how old are you? Oh, that's a lovely, lovely age. So young and innocent. Now, this question might seem personal, but it's very important. You see, the ladies around me have to be pure and innocent. I can't take any scandal, especially with Thurzo spreading rumors about me in the village. So, you don't have a lover, do you? Or have you ever had a lover? You are indeed in Virgo, in tacto. Very good. Oh, there's no need to blush. Look how, look how pretty you are when you blush. All the blood rushing to your cheeks. You look like you have a lot of blood coursing through your veins. Innocent, pure, young blood. Well, that makes you very, very special. I would say that, um, you've matched all the criteria needed to work for me in this castle. Yes, you'll be paid very, very well. As you can see, I'm quite a rich woman. And I'm happy to share my riches with those who offer me what I need. And I can see you're just the type to give me what I need. Now, there's a couple of rules. As I said, the women in my house have to be very pure for various reasons. Because of that, you'll notice it's mostly young girls in my household. Um, but in the occasion that you do run into a young man, you mustn't speak with him or be seduced by any of these quick-talking sharp-witted men. It's very important you stay pure. Also, you must not venture into the dungeons of the castle. Both of the lower floors are completely off-limits. If you're ever going near a grate or an open door and you hear things that sound like crying, pleading, screaming, squealing. Don't be alarmed. You see, I have, um, well, I have some dogs that need to be disciplined, and sometimes their barks and yelps sound like young girls pleading for their life or screaming in agony, but don't worry. It's just your mind playing tricks on you. 
So as long as you follow those rules, you'll fit in just fine for however long you stay. Well, of course, that's up to you if you decide you like the work. Um, and if I decide you're a good asset for me, I might keep you around for longer until you serve your purpose. But I can say that you are a very, very pretty young thing, and I'm quite charmed by you. So Katerina, won't you please take her to her room, get her settled in, and I quite look forward to your stay here. <laughs>